Hi everyone. Now we will see how mutual exclusion is implemented with semaphore. So in the last video, I have explained to you about what is a semaphore. Semaphore is nothing but it is a software solution for a critical section problem. And we have learned on two types of semaphore. One is binary semaphore, other one is counting semaphore. And it solves a critical section problem. What is critical section? Critical section is a part of code where your shared variable is stored. So all of the process when they want to use the shared memory access, they have to enter into the critical section. When any one process is inside the critical section, no other process should enter into it, should be given access to enter into the critical section. So this is a constraint we have to maintain. So for implementing the mutual exclusion, they have given this code weight of mutex critical section signal of mutex reminder of the section then close the loop while of true so this is a code for mutual exclusion so here in previous video we have seen here weight of yes yes represents semaphore so here they have used a variable name called mutex that is also a semaphore variable only okay so since it is mutual so they have given this variable name as mutex okay so now we will see how this works this code works for implementing your mutual exclusion First, the value of mutex value will be 1. Okay, initially the mutex value will be 1. So, weight of 1. That means when P1 wants to enter. When P1 wants to enter into the critical section. So, it will give you the weight of mutex initially it is stored as 1. So, weight of 1. So, when it goes here weight of 1. So, it will check here yes is less than or equal to 0. So, yes it is 1 is less than or equal to 0. Yes, it is no, it is not uh, less than or equal to zero. So the condition becomes false. When the condition becomes false, it comes outside the while loop. It goes into the critical section. Now, critical section here, P1 is inside. And before going it, it will decrement the value of S. So the S value will become one. Initially, it is one. Now it will become zero. Okay. So when P1 is inside the critical section, the S value will become zero. Now, uh, P1 is inside the critical section. When suppose at the same time, okay, P2 also wants to enter. At the same time, P2 also wants to enter into the critical section. It will execute the same code. Weight of mutex. It will check. What is the mutex value? The mutex value, the semaphore value is 0 over here. So, the mutex value is 0. Weight of 0. So, it will go and check this condition. 1 is less than or equal to 0. Now, 0 is the value you have. 0 is less than or equal to 0. Yes, it is true. So, when the condition becomes true, this is a semicolon. So, the condition means the control will struck inside this while loop itself. It cannot come outside. Okay. The, the, so, hence we can say that mutual exclusion is implemented. So, when some process is inside the critical section, the P2 process cannot enter. It will be inside your loop itself. It is since the value of S is 0. So, the condition becomes true. So, it cannot enter. Okay. That is what is mutual exclusion. Now, next what happens over here is after entering into the critical section, now it will give the signal of mutex. What is the process P1 will do? It will call the function called signal function with the mutex value 0. Okay, signal of 0 when it calls this function. So, what happens is that it comes outside and it will set the value of S to be 1. Okay, the S value will be incremented from 0 to 1 and now the S value is 1 over here. Now, P2 wants to enter. When P2 wants to enter at the same time, okay. So, now P2 also wants to enter. Now, this condition since it was struck because of this condition now the value of s is 1 over here value of s is 1 over here so 1 is less than or equal to 0 the condition becomes false it comes outside the while loop it enter into the critical section now p2 is there into your critical section okay and set the value s to be decremented s value is 1 now it is decremented to 0 Okay, so when P2 is there, P1 cannot enter. So, we can say that once P2 want, finishes its execution, it will call the function called signal of mutex. So, whenever any process wants to enter, it will follow this codes. First, it will call weight of mutex. It enter into the critical section. Then it will call signal of mutex. Then it will execute the reminder section in your code. Then this will be executed. This is the code for implementing your mutual exclusion. I think you all have understood this concept. We will see in the next video. Thank you.